Early access is here. I'm Pegster, and the eyes of the world are upon you, or more so, the eyes of the Hell Let Loose Discord and forums. Your task won't be an easy one. Your enemy is well trained, well equipped, and battle hardened. They will fight savagely, for many have been here since Alpha. But hopefully, I can help you out a little, give you a few tips, shape you up, and who knows, there may even be a budding squad leader in the making among you. This is Hell Let Loose. Your job, destroy your enemy, capture your objectives, win the game. And we have a few roles that may help you do that. But first, a few tips. The most important key is Z. It gets your ass on the ground and your face in the dirt. Keeps your ears and eyes open, because communication is the most important aspect of this game. And on that note, the C key. That's your fire team or your squad's channel. The one you spend most of your time using. The V key, well that allows you to talk to those near and around you, such as friendlies. And last but not least, the X key, if you manage to earn it, and trust me, I won't call you sir. That is the officer's channel. All the fire team and squad leaders and the overall commander use this channel. Only they can hear it, and boy, once that first bullet rings out, this channel gets loud. The T key, that brings up your heads up display, your hood. That will show you any markers or instructions added to the map and it'll show you exactly where you are or what area you're contesting or challenging for and let you know how the fight is going. There's a lot of information on this screen so take it all in. Now if you're looking around and you're lost, your squad is highlighted as green. The leader emblem, i.e. your squad leader, is a crown. Friendlies are blue and everyone else, well, you can just point and shoot at. Now if you're a newbie, head to the gameplay options in your menu screen. You can set the distance those markers show up, and once you get a little bit better, maybe even reduce them or take them off completely. And on that note, this ain't no run gun no need to think shooter. Check your map, and you do that by pressing the M key. It will show you who's near, because we don't want no team killer, no blue on blues, because the team killing general will keep tabs of how many you kill, and will eventually kick your ass off the server. And if you're in a private server, you may get kicked a lot quicker and banned a lot longer. Listen for instructions, but don't be scared to speak up if you see something. You're part of a team and you function better together. Now you're about to become an effective part of this 50v50 World War II based game. One of the most important roles is that of the rifleman. It's where many of us start and some favour. If you're an American, you're armed with the faithful M1 Garand semi-auto combat rifle. And if you're German, the ever accurate Car 98 single bolt rifle. You both get grenades, bandages, and more importantly, a small supply box of ammunition to keep you, your team, and your squad in the fight. And if you want to be more accurate in your engagements, hold your breath when aiming. Steady your rifle with the left shift key, and then hit that fire button. Use the ground and objects for cover and concealment, and don't always take the direct route. Your job is to locate and destroy the enemy, capture or defend areas of strategic importance. Another role is the assault. The US carry the Tommy gun, the M1A1 Thompson fast firing fire stick, and the Germans get the Gower 43, which is a semi automatic rifle. It's accurate and deadly. You both carry grenades and bandages. Your kit is light for a reason. You're a close quarter battle expert. Trenches, buildings, strong points, flanks, and getting close to the enemy is your feeding ground. Be fast, mobile, and aggressive. Then comes the automatic rifleman, a favourite of mine. The Germans get the STG-44 and the US get the M1918A2, aka the bar. Your job is to lay down some serious close fire support. You're a power to be reckoned with. Of course, you both get grenades to go along with that and bandages too. You can suppress the enemy, making them shiver, shake and lose all senses. They may even crap their pants. But keep an eye on your ammo and control your rate of fire, especially at distance. Which lastly for this segment brings us on to the MG gun. The German MG carries the dreaded buzzsaw, the MG42, and the US carries the M1919 Browning machine gun. You both get a pistol and bandages. Your job is to provide covering fire for your team, sending metal death at a great rate of knots, killing or suppressing your enemy. You can also deploy your weapons bipod on the ground or windows or other items when able using the F key. That makes your firepower more accurate and deadly, but watch your flanks and remember to shift position when able. You're a prime target for a sniper. Well that's enough for now. I think you're ready to head out and I hope it helped a little. If you want more information head to the how to play section on the menu screen of the game or back here next time when we'll discuss some other roles. But until then, 
Thanks for watching, and see That's you out there. Smoke. The tank can't see you, but the infantry can. Copy smoke. Right, engaging the tank. Okay. The tank's right on top of me. It, it's not looking at me. I'm going to push behind it. I can't kill it though. Yeah, yeah I need to hit it from Should the rear. Should have a shot on him in a minute, I think. Ah, oh, fucking balls. Second floor, second yeah, floor. He's, still, he's middle window, second floor, middle window. Yeah, he's watching. Oh, good, good shot, good shot.